All right, Matthew Oliver, House of Oliver. And we are on a journey right now to flavor destination. Um, actually, we're going to an Ace Hardware, but this Ace Hardware has a special place in my heart because they got me addicted to a Traeger, which Traeger's not a new drug. Uh, it's a smoker, which could be a new drug. Um, it's a smoker and it's a way to smoke meats. That's amazing. And this one's in Orangevale. And um, I'm, or no, actually this Ace Hardware is not in Orangeville. This Ace Hardware borders on Orangeville, but it's technically in Folsom. But I got to go through the notorious Orangeville to get there. But uh, we're moving past. If you're local to the Orangeville world, this is the uh, famed boardwalk. If you show, throw the camera right over here, some of the biggest shows that I've gone to happen in this little uh, rough neck of the woods. A lot of people love. A lot of people love the boardwalk boardwalk but um here we are getting ready to pull in to this ace hardware and they're going to be showing us how to barbecue today how to properly do some smoking of the meats All right, Matthew Oliver here from House of Oliver, but I'm not at House of Oliver. I'm at Eric's house, which he lives at Ace Hardware in Folsom. You really don't live here. I, I sort of live <laughs> kind of here. You feel like I, you live here. I sort of live here. Yeah. And then we've got Danny, who is the master meat here, cooker, yeah. who, who also lives here. Danny does live here. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been asked all the time, House of Oliver, we are renowned for our delicious meat. People love my meat. Can we cheers on they, that one? Okay, done. Oh cheers. Yeah, cheers. Good meat. Lovely meat. <sighs> so people ask me all the time, what got us started on barbecuing? Where did we learn the master craft? Because our ribs are delish. Our prime rib is amazing. Our tri-tip is like none other. And I owe it all to this young, fine man. Oh, no, I was 40 behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I owe it to Eric because uh, we weren't barbecuing any of our meat. We weren't even doing tri-tip or anything. And then you told me about this thing called a Traeger. The Traeger. I had no idea what it was. Yeah. The Traeger. And I thought it was a bad word. I told you to stop cussing at me. Yep. Tell them what a Traeger is. A Traeger is a grill that uses hardwood to cook your food nice and slow with flavor even temperature control but this isn't wood these are pellets little pellets you're spilling the pellets so these are wood yeah oh yeah yeah hardwoods you can get a blend you can get apple hickory <laughs> mesquite cherry you name it apple wow so what kind of this wood did you freaky. use right here uh, that's a this is cherry oh okay cooking pellet brand mm. cookingpellets.com 100 percent cirrus nor which is hardwood black cherry phenomenal for anything pork and a lot of my Traeger guys are loving it on their tri-tip. Yeah, so it adds flavor. So you've got, how many ways are you putting flavor into your meat? Oh my gosh. Starts with the rub. Okay. That's the most important part. So do you put oil before you put the rub on? I personally don't. That goes back, some people use mustard as a binder, some oil it. Um, if I was oil it, I do prefer the, uh, there's a garlic. Uh, I do, I use this avocado oil as well a lot, 100% avocado oil. Oh, um, wow. But there's also the garlic olive oil is just kind of taken over on me to be okay. my favorite. But um, right now this tri-tip has no oil on it. You just dry no, rubbed that it. Was a dry rub. And what did we use on a dry rub on this bad boy? That was the meat church. Holy cow rub. So you have holy cow, but then I was just the given because they know that I also pastor. This is Mac and Jesus. Thank you for the sweet divine gifts. Yes. Yeah. This says, good Lord. It's good. Uh, <laughs> 10 minutes to a miraculous meal. And I don't got 10 minutes because I'm going to eat this meat. So tell me more. Why does a Traeger, why is a Traeger so much better than using an old school Weber with charcoal or using my gas grill that I have at home? Charcoal is very messy. 
and everybody's probably tipped over a three-legged wet rubber pedal before, and it's sometimes you just have to walk away from it. Well, plus you get some of that the the smell from the gas that you squeeze on it. Well, not you only know, that, but a lot of the charcoal that consumers are using are are, are it's a very high percentage, a scary high percentage of of chemical binders inside yeah. those. So what about so this? Is there chemical binders? So if you are using binders, charcoal, please. Soy oil. Soy oil. So, soy oil. Soy oil. Yeah. And 100% hardwood. <laughs> this is actually 100% hardwood black cherry. There's no other fillers in it at all. It's, it's actually 100% black cherry hardwood. Wow. So unlike charcoal where you get all those different stuff and then, then you're putting your gasoline on it, trying to light and you're and that's, tainting and well, the that's smell. why you have to wait the 20, 30 minutes before it to, to burn all that out and get to that white, that yeah. white color because you need to burn all those chemicals out. Meanwhile, you're waiting 30 minutes for that to happen. Yeah. This thing's already cooked you dinner. Yeah. Yeah. And then barbecue, like a gas grill where I've got propane. So propane tends to, well, first of all, flare ups. Yeah. yeah so tons. take that out of your life. Um, but gas is just gonna take flavor out, if anything. So okay. you almost have to do everything hot and fast on a gas grill because you're not adding anything to it unless you start putting blocks in. And when you start putting blocks in, it starts changing on how many blocks you put in, how wet they were, how hot it was, and you're gonna get, you might get too I've, much smoke. I've never put a block into my barbecue ever. ever. They, have, they, have the smoke, they have the smoke boxes. So now with a Traeger though, this, tell me what's amazing about this. What can I do with this? Everything. So you can put a tri-tip on it for six hours. You can put a tri-tip on it for five hours, for four hours, for three hours, for two hours, for one hour. And it's got a temperature meat. You've got a meat thermometer in it. So that's telling me the temp right here. And on your phone, it's gonna pro. tell you what temperature it is because you can control it off your phone now. So I don't know when people are gonna be watching this, but I know Father's Day is coming up. Christmas is coming up. It's never too soon. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up. They can come in down here to the Ace Hardware and you can walk them through because there are some of these triggers you can program with your phone. And what a lot of people don't of know them. is that the best two times of the year to buy a trigger is Father's Day and, or, I'm sorry, and uh, Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving? Those are the lowest Black Friday. two prices of the year. So ever. triggers will be as low a price as you can ever buy one at Ju on June 12th. Basically, no in, way. in that period. Well, Plus, I hope this goes before then, but it doesn't matter if they're watching this next year. It's always going to be before a June 12th sometime. It's going to be right at and Father's should, Day so Father's and Day. right at Thanksgiving. That wow. is as good as it ever gets. Cheers. So, that, cheers, that, cheers, cheers, cheers. So if you're in I the love market, deal. now is the time. <clears throat> so now you have these ribs. Now we do ribs at House of Oliver. I love ribs. I'm kind of picky. I've been told prissy oh. when it comes to my ribs. So. And you had no input on how to do these. I had no input on what you did. <laughs> yeah. So I want to, I want you to slice them up. Then I want you to tell people while I'm eating them what you did because I don't want to listen to you. I want to judge you harshly when I chew Absolutely. your rib. Cut, cut. So I used. Uh, no, nope, cut. No, no, cut, okay. cut, cut. Where's the rub it? Well, you, you need to rub it out while I'm. While we're... You told me to explain it. Right? Well, yeah, but no, while he's eating it, while he's eating it. So first of all, he's not eating rub? it yet. Did you put this rub on it? No, no. That, that's why I asked. This you rub. rub? You took it from me. The blue cheese rub? It's a barbecue rub? Oh, it's it. So right here. I didn't take it from you, bastard. <laughs> so because it comes in this handy dandy, handy dandy magnetic, magnetic can. container. Wow, all of them do that? All of them do that. Except the ones that the don't. The ones that don't. <laughs> yeah. All of them do it. All of the, the goodest beer. Well, all the goodest. <laughs> so this is goodest Vita. Evidently they don't hold you. Gustus Vita, sorry. Gustus Vita. <laughs> Garlic pepper rub. Drop it. I'm not gonna do it. Watch it. Just watch it. It'll fall. So okay, this is this is what you put on. Yeah. Oh wow, this isn't just this has got chunks in it. Yeah. It, and this is what you put yeah, on this? Yeah, you can see the chunks. Oh, wow. But it, so you rubbed it? Took the membrane off. Biggest, biggest, most important part is take the membrane off. Okay. If Do they membrane, all come with a membrane? So that's the problem, is uh when you buy so a lot of you will be buying them at Costco. Thank, thankfully, actually, honestly, the membrane's still on. Okay. If you get them, if you go to Safeway, I've found, or Rayleigh's, and you buy it with the membrane taken off. It dries I, it out? I, no, I think it's done by a machine because oh. it's like chunky and it's not always, then it's, then you're sitting there trying to pick off little things. Okay. When there's a rib in front of you that has the membrane on it, you just 
pulling. And it's a fat membrane. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. It's a, it's like a really thick silver skin is what it is. And you just run a butter knife yeah. right underneath. Oh, okay, a butter knife. A butter knife right underneath one of the bones on the end, and pull it up, and you and you just do it real slow, and then put your finger down there, kind of get a tag, paper towel, shh, rips it right off. All three of these came off with ease. This is why I like eating food and not playing with fat membranes <laughs> and silver skins. And oh, how sharp is that knife? Wow, that's a sharp. It'll knife. cut you. Yeah, it'll cut. So don't cut yourself. Okay, I want you to tell more. Oh, oh, oh. oh awesome. Losing this. Man down. So that, that's that. Man down. So this is the. Uh, Let me see. Let me see. Okay, tell them something. And this, so this is using uh, the Gucci's Vita rub. I did do some, uh, a little more salt to it. Mm. And then I added the Traeger apricot barbecue sauce. Oh, wow. And it was kind of a mixture of that and uh, Cosmo Q's smoke barbecue sauce. At the very beginning you did that? When I, no, that was after five hours of it smoking. Yeah, yeah. So at first, it was just the dry rub. Membrane off, dry rub, Bare. and then you're in for how long? And then wrapped up with a foil for, it was about an hour and a half at 275. Okay. I did 275 to get a little more tender than most people, than competition. So you wrap it in be. foil when you put it on? Foil or butcher paper. Okay. And then, um, after that stage is when you went to the sauce. Yeah, then you, well, you go to the stage when you wrap it. It's it's similar to the three two one rib. You can kind of play with that that three two one rib, and then uh, unwrap it, sauce Trigger it, caramelize it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. TraegerGrills dot com has recipes, endless recipes. You wouldn't you could spend a lifetime reading them and you wouldn't read them all. Three two one ribs is one of them, and it's a great one. But three two one ribs you've is done a great bunch of variations on that. All the three two one <laughs> recipes I've read are are two twenty five for three hours, two twenty five for two hours, two twenty five for one hour. But I do, if you have, a, like, I have a, some elderly customers, I have elderly parents maybe, and I have them do it, I tell them to do it, 225 for three hours, 275 wrapped for two hours. Ribs. Ribs. I'm just gonna let them keep talking because <laughs> this is delicious. And Eric will tell you, like, you weren't here for a conversation we had. I'm very particular about how much chew and how much fall off the bone. These are, see, I didn't think you were going to let them eat. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. These have the perfect amount of chew. That's not, not, not a bad thing at all. No, <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is delicious. Yeah, a little bit of tug. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, answer me this question. <laughs> How long did you cook these ribs for? These ribs, after I pulled membrane, prepped them all, they rubbed, put them on. Five hours at about 180, 190 degrees. And you wrap them in foil when you Not put Not at it... that point. Oh, okay. They're, no, they're raw, just dry rub on. On there. On there, just, just chilling oh. right there. At... Wait, have we taste tested one of these? You have a firm to get now. Is it one. ready? Hope you this like is it. where I like mine. You like no. salt? I like mine right here. No. Not too limp? Uh-huh. Mm. That's not what I've heard. <clears throat> Let go in there two minutes. Yeah, need a little more. So five, tell me, five hours. Man, those are good. Five hours, and uh, this is on Super Smoke, by the way, because I was using a Timberline or an Iron Super wood. Smoke. So I had on the Super Smoke setting. Mm -hmm. Even more smoke flavor. A little bit so more flavor. Possible. So that takes your smoke and Super Smokes it. That's miraculous. That's, that's <laughs> it's like Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> that's, um, that's okay. that's Talk to me about Tri-Tip. Tri-tip. Because well, first in, of all, it's a California thing, so sorry for anybody that's not in They California. don't even know what tri-tip is. My my yeah. English in-laws, no if you go to England, there's no tri-tip. Mm -mm. They have it, no idea what there. it is. They just blend it into ground beef or something. No! <laughs> like, that part of the cow still exists, even in England. No, they're, the English cows have no tri-tip. No tri <laughs> it doesn't exist. I hate to correct you on camera. But <laughs> there's, 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 sir, you are incorrect. <laughs> You are wrong, Jolly good. Sir. <laughs> okay, so now, so my meat church rubs, mm -hmm. tri tip. You just touched. How long was this on for? This was on for about two and a half hours at two seventy five. Now there are guys I know when they cut tri tip before you cut it, they cut this way or yep. you know, and then they cut this way. Yep. How do you properly cut a tri tip? So you always, except for this one, which the point was cut off, but 
right here there's a transition okay. and this is the point this is considered the flat the grains run long ways on the point okay or on the flat i'm sorry on the point they're they kind of curve this way okay so you have to cut it you cut against the you grain. have to cut you have to cut against the grain unless you like chewy meat so the way you cut it determines the chewiness of your meat absolutely so you can see how there's like openings in there if you cut it with the grain it'll just be stringy i don't know what i'm doing and that's so very doing a nice job that's very there. crucial when you're doing like jerky i'll tell you if you're doing jerky it's very crucial because that's some people like chewy jerky so you cut it with the grain you i have, should test it if you want tender you jerky then you cut it against yeah. the grain okay. so i mean like when you do a brisket for instance they do the quarter inch slides and, and like the pull test and they'll pull it apart oh wow look at how tender that is but, well, that rub's got a little kick. Yeah, yeah that's, that's got good. a little kick. Yeah. It's, yeah. The meat shirt's got a little peppery. Mm -hmm. So now, um, I'm looking for the smoke ring, because I heard that's like very important in the world of uh, smoking. Yeah, and, and if I, uh, the problem was Costco didn't have any tri-tip last night, so I had to pick it up this morning. So I ran a little higher than I wanted to. But so you ran a little hotter and faster. So I would, I would, I, I, my thing is 225 for about four hours cold if you put it in cold it has to it's around four hours if you put it in at room temp which you probably should do you're looking more shave about an hour off of that well that's a great thing about a tri-tip is <laughs> if you have the time you could smoke this thing for four hours six hours and six hours you could you could smoke it to temp if you wanted to now how, you do, do you like yours hours. i'm gonna slice your meat real quick do you like your meat a little more well done or a little less done because um, i get mine a little more rare than yeah. Right. Well, and, and I know this has been sitting for a moment for the video, but but you know, generally for the store, I, I cook it to about 140 and then mm -hmm. let it rest. So mm -hmm. I'm loving everything that's happening here because we got to get in more conversation. We'll be back because I got to do the brisket. We got to do a shoulder or a butt or a I don't know. Love What's me some going? pork butt. <laughs> <laughs> Love me some pork butt. But this is absolutely great. So Matthew Oliver, House of Oliver, learning about barbecue and learning about a Traeger which it's amazing. And we're gonna be getting more into this world the next time we're hanging out here at Ace Hardware with my buddy, Eric, and his entire team, which is amazing. Dave doing a great job. And uh, so you need to come out, support these guys. We're all about some more supporting small business and, uh, or even huge businesses, successful businesses like Ace Hardware. You slapped my meat. <laughs> it was in my way. We're it's still not, pretty it's small. It still feels like family. We'll still have a great time. Uh, we'll get back to the point where we're cooking every Saturday out in front again and sharing our meat for free. Well, and you used That's to do like little things. bags of popcorn. Yeah, uh, yeah. Come to Ace Hardware to get a bag of popcorn. COVID ended popcorn, but uh, we're hoping to get back Temporary. to that very soon too. Could you put some of this um, blue cheese sea oh. salt on your popcorn? Oh, that would be so Imagine good. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. I could do this at the store and, it, oh, look at these. Okay, they're, oh, how close God. are they? They're, they should be there. Oh, you guys know I love asparagus. Mm. Woo! Those are hot. They're hot. Hot. Um, what'd you put on this asparagus? The asparagus, I put oil, as you saw. He oiled, <laughs> them, up. He oiled them up well. He oiled them up real well. And then I use this uh, Gust Gustus Vita blue cheese sea salt. Pretty amazing stuff. Woo. And then on top of it, I put uh, just regular old Parmesan grated cheese. Yeah, so good. Easy to do. And then you can Super just put easy. it right in here. And forget about it. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about your plate getting in burnt or anything because it's smoking. Now, are you actually smoking? Right now, on smoking? these ones, no, I'm just, I'm, I cranked up to 325 and let it go. So, but it doesn't smoke? No. Do you want to have any, if you don't want any smoke flavor, if you want smoke flavor, by all means, set at a lower temperature, go longer. But if you don't want the smoke flavor, higher tip. Just go above 300 and you're fine. A lot of people don't know that about wood fire grills. Mm -hmm. You can cook They're it. not just a smoker. Yeah, you can cook higher this thing. to grill. If you do chocolate chip cookies, on make half a batch in here, make half a batch in your oven, you'll never make them in your oven again. No way. Mm -hmm. There's no smoke. It's just, you're using, it's a it's a hardwood oven. So you can do pizzas in here. Pizzas are huge. Yeah, they make it. We do cobblers. Every, every November we do cobblers. They're unbelievable. Yeah. A cobbler, so all sorts of desserts, mm -hmm. all sorts of bacon can go in this because you can change the temp. You it's can... a wood fired oven. Wow. Okay. The world of Traeger happening here. Ace Hardware. Thank you guys. 
Thank you. Thank you for sharing Thank your meat you. with me. This is unbelievable. <laughs> so, well, this is how we do it. Until we get to drink together again. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.